How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of World Conquer 4. Today we are playing the Great Pacific War Mod and it's a mission list uh, extracted from the World Conquer 4 historical mod. And today we are playing the Great Marina Turkey Shooting. So the Marina Islands are a key supply point between the Japanese mainland and their force in the Pacific. Commander, you will have the task of seizing the island and destroy the Japanese fleet that is guarding it. Time is unfortunately not on our side as the Japanese are preparing to send part of their Philippines fleet to guard the island. So we're gonna play in the harder version. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be majestic. Okay. Oh my god. So pretty much we have all control on to uh, the ships we have. This part, this part. We have four, like four fleet beings. So okay. We do have generals. So we do have super battleships right here. Uh, consider. I think we should go with Mountbatten. Mountbatten is also good. Pretty much. Uh, Eisenhower, Eisenhower is so great, but there's one more man which I consider one of the best air force leader of all time and it's Downing. Uh, Downing was locked it, I didn't unlock him yet, uh, but Downing is also one of the best as his damage is way way out of this world so pretty much one of the best. Okay, let's break through this one. Okay, good. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, the damage kind of reduced, I think whoa, 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 it lasts oh, one of the updates, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, we can do this, let's try that one, but you guys should know that, uh, the damage from aircraft carrier, I think it's only work best with destroyers and submarines. But when it comes to the real deal of breaking forts and stuff, I don't think that it would be versatile against the enemy. You can see damage is around 180, and that's a lot to me. Like, that's a lot, but, uh, you know, when it comes to other stuff, it, it doesn't work that way. Okay, let's get this guy here, destroyer, upsaw, submarines, and another this. Let's try this one on the commando, 82 damage, that's not bad, but it's not considered to be okay. And this is our main force right here, so this one I would go with, it's a Pershing. Pershing, you know it's not a Sherman, so it's Pershing, so Peyton, yeah, that's good. So our force will be guarding here until we break through this uh, coastal fort and we might consider landing in marina and then we're gonna go to Saipan and this one here and also go to down south and Hagat Hagatna but remember there are so many ships super battleship this is one of the Nagato class battleship one of the best ships ever I remember watching uh, Man High Castle and it's kind of you know they have the super Yamato battleship ready at San Francisco ready to you know attack just in case something happened that's pretty good though that's her. And you can see we have a direct contact with them already right now. So let's go to the main guy. Uh, let's break through this one here. Submarines. It's gonna be the best. You can tell 600 damage. That's quite a lot. And we break through from here. And another one from destroyers against submarines. Boom. Good. Okay, they also attack one of our convoys, unit convoy, so it's pretty okay. It doesn't really that matter. Okay, now we want to break through from here. Okay, so we have a landing spot right now. We also have to take another one from here as well. So this is a great picture war mod. You guys can get it for free. The link is written down below. Uh, and I think it's going to be another month. Where he's going to upgrade another version of this. It's going to be good. Forty-four. Let's try another one. Forty-nine, and from this one with no generals, thirty-nine. Okay, so the range is similar, but if you attack on convoy, its damage is two forty. Yeah, so know the different guy. It's it depends on that. If your attacks on lands, uh, units damage won't be the same. It can differ from forty and stuff. And now it's raining, 
But if you attack the enemy on convoys and stuff, those damage are crazy. Okay, let's break enemies, destroy you first. And there's another convoy reaching here. I consider taking this out, okay. And it should be best if we go for this. Okay. Break that one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna force the land naval invasion. There's another one here. Okay. And we break through here. Nice. Kind of break up the fortifications. Good. So uh, it would be best right now if we surrounding this guy. The reason is because at this moment we do not have enough submarines to attack cruiser. However, we can uh, encircle them so that they will lose their morale and it would be easy for us. Okay, good. And we can break another one here as well. So by doing that, it will uh, helps us winning the sea battle easily, even though we still have a lot more to fight with. Okay. Okay, so Nitsmith now is off duty. Let's break this one here. We have a Pershing. Land, land, and land another one here. Also land this one here as well. Breakthrough. Okay. Uh, now we have to deal with convoys. Okay, pretty good. And this one too. Fortifications gone. Okay, and we're going for this one. So this guy will follow up a convoy, so it's okay. You can just ignore that. You see damage on convoys from aircraft carrier and the same. And even these guys have anti-missiles. Which is too early, to be honest. Okay, let's surround him again. Nice. So now he in a position that he can no longer move or do anything. So by that means, we can take him out easily. But remember, we also have, we, we also need to owe, own our superiority in seas. Okay, this one is out of nowhere. I've never seen that one here. Okay, and I think he's gonna be dead for sure. And just one blow up and boom, yep, it's pretty good. And going for the fortification again. Because these fortifications are really strong. We do have our own version of the commando. Looks really good though, not bad. And gonna take Marina, very nice. So we finally capture Marina, moving down with Peyton. And it's gonna be a morale drop. Can we try this? Great, okay. Now, another landing. However, I still need to break two of this convoy, three or another one here. So since the enemy general is off the sea, I believe it's a good strategy for us just to break it. Okay. Nice and yeah, really good, really good. Okay. So we still have to move to Hargana. Turn is 32. Oh, there's a lot of turns. I mean, without general, I think, I think it would be sufficient. But with general, I think we can do it faster or some stuff. But it's always best to play with generals, you know. Some people might not agree, though. 
because I've seen a lot of people, you know, they prefer to play it, especially Chinese fan, they, they prefer to play it like uh, real, you know, like not using generals and stuff or make it more difficult. But uh, I think it's time wasting, you know. Gaming should consider as fun, but only if you want to prove yourself as the best. That means you have to use generals and stuff. I mean, that depends. Nice, we finally captured that and we're gonna land soon. Then I will send my troop down instead of going north. We're gonna have to go north. I think position at the south is already good enough. Okay, we're gonna kill that guy off. Only if it explodes when the enemy attack, it would have been nice, you know, like submarines of explosion and stuff. So it's gonna be good. How's the fortifications? 78, not that bad. Okay. And morale drop. Okay, in turn. I think the rumor thing kind of get debuff in the new games, you know, uh, European War 6 1914. It's, I don't know, uh, not so many general has it and it's not really that good, you know. It's just so so, it's not really that hype, you know. Okay, going for the cruiser, the main event. Okay, consider going from this position. Send command over here. Okay, and see, bring location like that. I think we should take this guy off as fast as we can. Another bomber. The funny thing is, even though the dam, even though there's an air defense damage, is still around 100. Imagine if there was no air defense. But I don't think that would not be. But if there would be, there would still be an anti air, and anti air might. Decrease like around 20 30 damage, not that much, but it, it would be more efficient, you know. Okay, okay, let's land here and attack Saipan. And going south, I think we're gonna leave this area. We don't need to be there forever. Okay, we can also parachute. You know, we just we don't have to use our command. So, but we still need to capture two points at the same time. Even though we capture a side palm, we still need to go with that. Unless the enemy is doing another uh, paratroop, you know, like raiding and stuff, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. If we can do that, I think we should try another one here, and yes, it worked. And another one. Okay, really good. Now, facing reality is taking this guy out. Okay, I think he's gone. We still have Nagomo. Is it Nagomo? Yeah, Nagomo, yeah. Nagomo was one of the best in World Conquer 3, but I don't know why they removed him in World Conquer 4. We only have Nag Nagano. No, 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 sorry. Nagano, not Nagomo, Nagano. Nagano is another one. Nagano is more of a, like, he got like, 4 star on ship's damage and 3 on movement. It wasn't that bad. And I don't really understand why they got him removed from me because of his war crime and stuff. Or maybe Easy Tech is on budget or something, I don't know. All I know is, is, is that they should have added him. I mean, he's pretty good though. Not that bad. That's why most modern, especially Airbus, Airbus kind of release all of the general. And if you uh, put all the general all together with the release, I think it's around 72 generals. It's not like what Easy Tech promoted on their webs on their video. Because on their video, they said there's going to be around 200 generals. 
for the game and we all hype and stuff you know like oh my god it's gonna be a lot of general and in reality it's gonna be around 72 which is sucks by the way I mean it's understandable at some point because uh let's say you know easy tank is not in the mood of doing you know they're just promoting and bouncing it or maybe they don't have the budget to do it blah 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 it depends you know let's go for the main course always go for the red I think we can land now okay and okay 400 damage no wonder why cruiser are the best damage is really really high the super battleship we also have our own south dakota class battleships yeah south dakota and this one is Naga nagato i think it was yamamoto right You know they named the Yamamoto based on the I think one of the shoguns in Japan who it was a Yamato clan you know who successfully repels against the Mongolian invasion he didn't do it but it kind of it, the weather the weather did the job you know there was a uh, tsunami when the Mongolian ships tried to cross the Korean Peninsula and they kind of you know kill all of those ships and stuff and make them dead you know and they kind of oh it's Yamamoto and yeah you know you know the rest of the history nice and we take this one here and we're gonna surround him later or encirclement Okay, so many ships. There's gonna be a lot of more scenario uh, from this, and I believe uh, I think we already have it in the World Conqueror Four historical mods, but for the Great Conqueror, I think he's gonna import all of it later. But we'll see how it goes. Six run of damage, damn. Okay, I think that's enough already. Capture all of it, we just need to capture at Hakana. We, uh, the problem is we don't have any air. So. You have to move at least Peyton there. And we need another one here. I think it's enough. Just to break through with Hatkana. Yeah. And after he lands, then we can take it. Oh, there's another ship as well. I think it might work this way. Damage is two. Okay, not that bad. Okay, and let's see. Let's give another shots. 
Okay, and we parachute in here just in case something happened. You never know because enemy might paratroop it later, but they don't have any cities to paratroop for. But you never know, you know, it's easy tech. They might do something different, you know. Maybe it's another pop up troops. Even damage from tanks wasn't enough. And yep, pretty easy. I mean, if you want to challenge it, you know, without generals, go ahead. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it without generals. You know, it it would be more fun to play with generals. To be honest, I feel a little bit more historicals and stuff. Anyway, if you guys want the game, link will be in the description. And it's me, One Master. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you do. Uh, stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.